Hi, this is Dr. Donald Pelto. I want to go over today flat feet and posterior tibial tendon dysfunction. This can be both for children and adults, and this is a condition where someone comes in with a, a flat foot, and the tendon that's down on the side isn't working as well. We call that the posterior tibial tendon, and if it's not working, it can either be inflamed or totally injured. Uh, a side view of the foot tends to look like this where everything collapses down. Or as well, if you look at the back when someone is walking, you can see that the heel goes out. We call that eversion of the heel, or you can sometimes think that the ankles fall inward. And this is a condition that can be seen both in young children, it can also be seen in adults, and it can progress over time. This may or may not be uh, symptomatic for people. A little bit about the anatomy. What you're going to notice is there's a tendon on the side of the uh, leg called the posterior tibial tendon. This tendon, it has a portion that inserts on the inside of the foot and also a portion that goes underneath the foot. It inserts by the navicular bone and <clears throat> underneath the navicular bone. And if this tendon can't do its job, and its job is to hold up the arch of the foot, if it can't hold up the arch of the foot because there's too much collapsing, it's going to get strained, it's going to get torn and it's going to get tired and it can't do its job and it can sometimes uh, have actually a tear or, or, or not work well. One of the symptoms we see is something called too many toe signs. So if you see someone with this condition and you see the toes kind of sticking out on the side, that's a condition called the too many toe sign, which is uh, seen commonly with people with this condition of posterior tibial tendon dysfunction. Uh, once again, looking at the foot, there's a collapse in the foot. The tendon may or may not be painful. Some people have this painful where they may feel pain on the back of the uh, ankle region. They may have pain where it inserts into the navicular. They may have pain on the bottom of the foot and they may have pain uh, on the outside. So kind of here on the outside of the foot, it may be painful as well because uh, everything is uh, impinging or getting kind of cramped on that side. Once again, looking at the side, you can see how everything is kind of curved in. So what's the goal? The goal of treatment is to bring all this curvature and straighten it out. There's a, a test that we do called the heel raise test to determine how bad this condition is. So if someone goes up and their heel goes from outward to inward, that's called a heel e inversion where it can invert, then the tendon is still working. But if someone goes up on their, on their heel or up on their toes and it can't kind of roll back in, then that shows that there is dysfunction. So this one, it's able to recorrect and the heel is nice and straight. This one, it can't, so that they fail that heel test. And there's different types of treatments for this. Looking at an x-ray, uh, this is the, the same x-ray. When you look at the x-ray, you tend to find that this angle right here, this is called the calcaneal cuboid angle. Uh, it ten this is supposed to be straight, but it, since the foot goes outward, it, it, it's not straight. And as well, the talonavicular joint, this is the navicular, this is the talus, these two bones uh, normally should be parallel. If they're not parallel, once again, it kind of, the, the foot flares off, kind of veers off to the side. So just to situate you, the, the talus right here in this little line, this is the position of the leg, and this is the position of the foot. That's why when you look at someone from the back, you see the back of the leg and you see the toes kind of sticking out called the too many toe sign. If you look at the side of the x-ray, there are different uh, progressions of it. You can see here uh, uh, a line that goes parallel with the first metatarsal and parallel with the talus. If someone has this collapsing foot, you can see a little collapse right in here. You can also see that this line of the talus goes down, so it has these kind of uh, off kilter. And also the heel, heel position is a little bit lowered. Uh, over time, this can develop arthritis, as you see arthritis in here. So it can affect either the joints with arthritis or can affect the tendon, or it may not affect anything and it may not be painful. If it is painful and if it is bothersome, we can talk about the treatment. Uh, initially, we want to do um, the, uh, the resting, icing, compression, and elevation. Uh, typically, if someone comes in and it's very, very painful, it tends to be painful on the inside or like I mentioned on the outside. And then we'll start by putting someone into a walking boot to kind of immobilize the area. Many times I like to put a unaboot on the area, which we wrap it up, and that's kind of like a soft cast. People can ice the area, and uh, elevation can help it, just to give it, get it uh, to calm down. If 
if it if it's quite painful and if there's one distinct area you can see this little cortisone the cortisone can be injected right to the maximal pain uh, pain place whether it be where it inserts into the navicular or in the back of the um, malleoli region or even into the joint if the joint has been affected you can do a cortisone injection you don't want to do too many of them uh, but doing one or two of them can be fine also physical therapy can can be effective once again without supporting the foot this is only uh, effective and of helping with the posterior tibial tendon some stretching I don't really recommend too much stretching but here are some stretching ideas uh, that people can do uh, more importantly deep tissue massage but only deep tissue massage or physical therapy uh, can be helpful to help the tendon but if you don't put the foot in the proper position it's gonna continue to become injured there are different types of supports. This is something made by Aircast. It's called a posterior tibial tendon uh, brace or a Aircast support that gives support on the inside, gives it some cushion and support, very similar to that soft cast that was put on there. This is another option that keeps people more active. There are also different types of orthotics. Once the inflammation and the pain kind of goes down with the cortisone and with, with the rest, we want to and physical therapy we want to hold the foot in the proper position some people can do well with an orthotic it's not going to be just a little simple over-the-counter one this is going to be one that's going to be high in the instep it's going to have a lot of support it's going to have usually some posting on the on the on the inside here to help hold the foot in the proper position these are going to be hard to fit in shoes and you're not going to be able to wear every type of shoe you want but for a lot of people this can hold the foot in the proper position especially the heel in the proper position by correcting the heel position if this doesn't work the next step would be something called an ankle foot orthotic and, and this allows giving more support but going up higher into the ankle region past the ankle into the to the lower leg which supports it from the collapsing that happens and this little uh, cutout here helps if people have a really prominent bone in that area uh, one step up from this is something called an Arizona brace as you can imagine having this tied up it's gonna be as if the foot is fused as if the foot as none of the joints can move so this is kind of a more advanced uh, treatment of it that may be necessary and then surgery once again to repair the posterior tibial tendon if that's a problem uh, different type of foot reconstruction uh, can be needed as well if it's more of a chronic issue or if it's not getting better and uh, so that's where you're certainly going to want to see a doctor so I hope you found this helpful if you want to learn more you can go to centralmasspodiatry.com slash pttd uh, to get more information different videos and uh, handouts on this condition